before we go out and actually look at the buffalo, we're just going to kind of give you a brief overview of what the roundup's like and so kind of what you can expect to see tomorrow when you're out there. Um, just kind of a map of everything, but I'll kind of let Chad take it over and explain how the horses round up the bison and where we go and everything like that. So We will start out back here at this west fence, depending where the herd is in the morning. You just never know. Sometimes they're all on top of Hay Flats, which is a big butte. Sometimes they're down in the creek along the South Fork of Lame Johnny there. We basically have three teams, red, white, and blue, about 20 team members on each. Um, if they're down along the creek, they come through movie draw and right out on the Loop Road and Red Valley intersection here. On the, yeah. On the boom pole. Yeah, man. Oh. It, was, it was cool. <laughs> what? Hey guys, Dusty Bear, Cross Timbers Bison. We are behind the scenes doing a lookout with the bison. Custer State Park. We're out here with a 1,300 plus bison herd. These guys tomorrow will be herded to the corral system. The 2021 bison roundup will begin with these guys right here. They're out here chilling and relaxing before the storm. Getting a little behind the scenes tour today of how everything is going to go. And plan on riding the trucks, the route and everything. And uh, right now just checking out the herd. So super excited just to get out here uh, and see these animals before it all goes down. Just kind of soaking it all in. It's beautiful out here. And just, uh, just excited and very thankful to be here. Oh, there's a red dog up here. Look at him. There's a cinnamon bear. Yeah. Oh, baby. Do you call them red dogs? Yeah. <laughs> they have lots of names. Yeah, they do. I'm Stephanie Palmer with the South Dakota Department of Tourism. We're out here with some bison um, in Custer State Park. Custer State Park is the country's I believe second largest state park at 71,000 acres and the park holds 1,400 bison. So we're getting ready for the Buffalo Roundup here. Um, it's just such a special place um, for visitors to come to South Dakota and experience this true wildlife and just this outdoor experience that you can really only get in this part of the country. So we're really blessed to be in South Dakota. Just the freedom to roam, it's like right. we say. But I think South Dakota and the Black Hills is just so special because you can drive within an hour and get to Badlands National Park. We're here in Custer State Park, which is a premier destination. Wind Cave National Park is right over that fence, so that's amazing too. Historic Deadwood, where legends lived and died. Wild Bill Hickok and Calamity Jane, they really lived here. Um, probably saw a lot of this too in their time here. South Dakota is just a really special place. We're lucky to live here. It's an awesome place for visitors. All right, guys, uh, Stephanie. Just yes. explain to us about how awesome this beautiful place is. You guys know that I've never been up here before and um, just this is, this is buffalo country, bison country. And um, I was lucky to hop in this truck and uh, Stephanie was here. She's got some media people with her for this roundup, for the 2021 roundup. So lucky to meet her, but she's been doing this 
this is your seventh have you done it i seven? think this is my seventh buffalo roundup yeah that's that's awesome and this is of course my first but so i'm gonna learn from her she's gonna kind of i'll show you the ropes yeah, it's all show right show me the ropes that's right so uh what do we need to be prepared for it's a bumpy ride yeah I can um that. be prepared um <laughs> It's really exhilarating when you get out there and get the buffalo going. Yeah. Um, it's perfect when you have chilly weather. Yeah. Because, I mean, you know, when it's yeah. hot, some of those years that they're just slow moving and just yep. pokey. Ready yep. to go. Yep. Um, but yeah, they get pretty feisty and a little sassy <laughs> and spicy yep. when it's a little chilly. Yeah. So it'll be fast moving, fast paced. So that's yeah, what, be ready to rock and roll. That's why we're here. Yeah. We're here for the show. And uh, <laughs> thank you guys for watching, first of all. And I just, uh, just, thankful for South Dakota and people like Stephanie and the guy holding the camera here. He's, he's the man. Sterling? Yeah. Sterling. Sterling is the driver and Legend. he's, uh, he's showing us around. She's so born and raised in South Dakota. I'm a South Dakotan. Yeah, that's, that's awesome. And so I got a perfect, uh, perfect relationship here of learning everything. And, um, you guys know I love Oklahoma, but guys, this is, this right here. This is pretty impressive. Like, oh, it's a little overwhelming for a, for a guy from little Oklahoma. So, um, but uh, anyways, thank you. And uh, we're excited to, uh, to get in this roundup. So thank you guys. Stay tuned. Mountain goats are nuts. They're hooves. They're like little hands. So we just got back to the office and I uh, saw a bunch of sheep hanging out just up here randomly. <laughs> Probably hiding, getting away from all the people. But, uh, we always use the word majestic around these bison. Look at this dude right here. This is, that's majestic right there. That is a beast of a big horn sheep right there. And what a cool day. So fun going out with Sterling, the driver of the truck. Uh, took us out, uh, Kobe, the guy who kind of runs all this and gives us a chance to go out uh, and see the herd first and organizes a lot of that or for the roundup tomorrow. But I want to tell you guys, i um, really excited about tomorrow, how cool it was to go out there with the herd. And uh, I hope I got some good footage for you. This is so cool right here. This is why you come to these places and, and uh, hope that you can get up close to animals like this. You don't get up too close to the, uh, the bison like this, but this is pretty cool. Hope you guys are excited to see the actual roundup. I can't wait to uh, be a part of the the thunder and the rumble of uh, seeing 1,300 bison roaming through Custer Park uh, into their corral system for the 2021 Bison Roundup. Also had fun talking to Stephanie, part of the South Dakota Tourism, having her talk and explain. She's a, now, a South Dakota native and it was fun to listen to her perspective, get her side of things. And she's done this, this is her seventh year in a row doing this. So. 
thank you to Stephanie and giving us the lowdown on South Dakota and the awesome places that you can go to and do stuff like this. This is this is great, guys. Come to South Dakota. Thank you.